Now, I don't know about you, but I love gardening close-ups. I could just watch that all day. That one's got just a few ready to pollinate. All right, let's check out this garden. There's, uh, there's not a lot going on, but it's also just just crazy. Uh, I look forward to the morning so I can get some get some more mulch down. So I did get down some um, leaves from the bottom of this beautiful magnolia tree. And the worms love those, so those are good. And then I put some pine straw down in the pathway just to keep these weeds down. And some zinnias come in here. We also have nice grass growing here like three foot tall grass it's always nice and the aromas and the tomatoes we're going to get really close up and pick some of those tomatoes in just a second but i wanted to show you guys this volunteer squash so i had it in my compost i guess and when it started growing this season i let it go it is now this is one plant you guys it's gone up here Anyways, I think it's a butternut squash, and I think it might be from a friend of mine at Baker Hill Farm who gave me some last year, and I ate them. Because I don't really buy them. Oh, hey, squash bug. Oh, hey, vine borer. Oh, it's time for you to die. Oh, my God, you're dying now. Okay, killed him. I, haven't, I was just saying that I hadn't had too much trouble with them, but I had to make a new path through this is ginger, it's not corn, looks like corn. Oh, a breeze, so I had to make a new path because that, that just took over there. But here's another butternut coming from that. That is so exciting. So we'll, we'll pick some tomatoes in just a second. That was really loud. Okay, these are acorn squash that I started late, and I'm excited to have some, yep, they look really good, to have some acorn squash. Hopefully the squash bugs leave them alone. Here is my neck pumpkin. Do you see the difference between that and the acorn squash? It's got that crazy neck. It's the Pennsylvania Dutch neck pumpkin. It's amazing. Oh, and this is that Chinese um, chives, and these are the seeds. Look at that. It's that flat leaf chive. Talked about that in the last video. So this is going off crazy. And then the strawberries are chilling out for now. Grass, grass, grass. Beautiful polar bear zinnias. Look at that. Stunning. Now I need to deadhead those so that more can grow. But it's hard to do sometimes. Hello, gorgeous. All right, over here I've got some peppers, and I did harvest my first cayenne pepper. Look at this acorn squash growing up here. So cayenne peppers, I'm waiting until they get red. That's super exciting. So let's go pick some tomatoes. Let's show you my cherry tomatoes. This is my one red cherry tomato plant. I wish I had more, but I have more than I can eat, and I've been sharing them, and that brings me so so much joy yes indeed so let's get close up and pick some of these meters the bees are absolutely loving these multi-heading sunflowers this is one it's just one plant and they are absolutely gorgeous I already scraped this one a little to look at those seeds. Ah. So awesome. 
so so awesome this is a mix of a rose bush and a privet and it is just a nightmare so anyways let's get over here and get some of these delicious tomatoes so I don't know about you but I love gardening close-ups I could just watch that all day Especially, I like to watch people in Australia because I can watch them in the winter when they're getting their tomatoes. And I'm not jealous. I'm, I love sharing in the joy of gardening. I think I've gotten a lot better not being jealous of other people's gardens now that I finally have a decent sized garden. And it's my goal to encourage people to, to just start with whatever you have, whatever you can afford. Even if it's just one little raised bed, because it brings so much joy. Let's look at this one. This one's like oozing. This is a different, I think these are Peron tomatoes, I believe. They're like a smaller variety. That one's busted open. I'm just gonna throw that right here in my in-ground compost. Baboom, which I also love. I'll go ahead and pick these and they'll ripen up real nice on the counter and they won't split like that one. the size of that Roma. I could probably leave that on a little longer. And I love how these are just like, they're so shiny. They're like a shiny apple. Look at this shine on that. I'm going to leave this one Roma on a little longer. It's getting kind of hard to get in here. And I don't want to step on They're looking nice. Uh oh. All right, let's get back in here. So I love Romas. They're they're tough, and they don't they don't get so big that I have trouble growing big tomatoes because they'll split or bottom rot. Which sometimes my Romas get that that blossom end rot too. But this has been a good season. As long as I have yummy tomatoes for me to eat and enough to share, I'm happy. I'm really happy. So these will go on my windowsill, and in a day or so, they'll be ready to eat. I'm so thankful. On this side of the garden, I have some zinnias. It's cool I have like a different colored zinnia in each area. And another white one over here. So I'm standing in knee high grass, but um, next to these sunflowers I have something starting. Anybody know what it is? You know? What is it? It's gonna get really tall. Yes. It is okra. Yes. And then I also have a beautiful orange zinnia over here. So I love that. And I love saving the seeds from those and putting them in a package that says orange zinnia so I can plan next year and know which colors to put together. This snapped right here, but tomatoes are so amazing that it's probably still going to finish off these. I could probably hook it back up, but it's already broken, so I'm just going to let it do its thing. Let's 
So I got this really cool garden hose and it's, it's expandable. So I lifted out the box out in the rain, but it's a hose, so it's fine. But um, it also came with a sprayer, which I always need. So I'm gonna try this out today and see how that goes. It's really cool and gummy. Never had a hose like this before. All right, so I actually connected it to the end of my current hose to get a little more length and wow, it's interesting. Um, let's see how it, how it did. I did put the Teflon tape so I don't see too much leaking going on there. I did not turn, I did not turn my hose on full blast, but let's see. Okay. Can't do this with one hand. Let's see, let's go to full. Yeah, this is a nice, Got the lock on. And I'm not, oh, I got it off. Okay, one hand approved. And it has a turn off switch here. So that's really neat as well. I do this with one hand, but I'm liking this already better than the one I had. So, yep, you can completely shut it off, and that seems to work really well. I'm not getting any leaking. So. Awesome, this is gonna be great. Um, so yeah, they did send me a discount, 15% off, and a link, so I will put that below. And it came with a hanger, cool beans, so I'll keep you updated, but it seems pretty cool. Never had a hose like this, looks like a snake. All right, so one more cool thing, these are my, my, ch my kids are in the pool. Um, this is another volunteer squash, but check it out. It hasn't put out any female flowers or fruits, but it's so beautiful. It's just growing down the fence, so it's like, okay. Oh wait, oh wait, we might have, we might get a fruit. It might be pumpkin. It's the first fruit I've actually seen though, but I just let it go, because it's gorgeous. It looks great right here. Still have more sunflowers coming. All right, gonna try to keep it short and sweet because I am like dripping with sweat and I'm not even moving around. So it's just that time of year. But again, I'm so thankful. Thankful for you watching. Have a great day and happy growing, happy gardening, happy, happy.